As of recording this video, the farmers have been protesting for the past 14 days against the bills that were recently passed in the Lok Sabha with the objective of establishing a one nation one agriculture market policy. But as usual, this information campaign started running against the farmers, some calling the farmers Khalistani, while some saying that this was fueled by Pakistani agents. But all of this is false. Hi, I'm Neha and welcome back to this week's episode of What the Fact is Going On. Today, let's dissect the disinformation and fake news regarding the farmers protest. Farmers have been taking to the streets against the recent farm bills passed by the Lok Sabha with the fear that this would privatize the farming industry. But despite allegations of a hidden political agenda, these protests have been led bannerless by farmer groups across the nation. So why are there claims linking these protests to Khalistani agendas? Well, chances are A, because most farmers hail from the state of Punjab and Haryana, and B, because a lot of videos and fake news popped up on social media, which is spreading like wildfire against the farmers. Now let's pass this bit by bit. By saying that these farmers are fueled by Khalistani agendas, would be implying that they are six separatists demanding a separate state of Khalistan within the state of Punjab. But there is no link between the Khalistani movement which emerged in the 1980s during the emergency and the farmers' agitation now. When examined, the demands of the farmers from these protests is just one thing – withdrawal of the agriculture bills. There is no mention of a separatist movement or wanting a different land, nor is there evidence of any funding from supporters of the Khalistani agenda. Multiple sessions were held between union leaders and farmer leaders to resolve the issues. In fact, this motive is so far-fetched that instances and examples of unity were exemplified by farmers when they organized langars for policemen who were trying to curb their protests. Now that this is tackled, let's move on to the viral videos. Here are a few videos that were rampantly shared by renowned personalities on social media. This one was shared by BJP IT cell Amit Malviya, where a man is heard citing the assassination of Indira Gandhi in an apparent bid to threaten PM Modi. <laughs> Although this man hinted possible violence, so far the protests have been peaceful, with the authorities using a fairly excessive force against them. In fact, Amit Malviya faced excessive backlash for propagating this narrative. Another one. This one is with Tajinder Baga, the Delhi BJP spokesperson, who also shared multiple posts and videos suggesting that this was politically motivated and supported by the Congress. But all of these reports were proven false time and again by multiple fact-checkers. A sign of a healthy democracy is the very existence of disagreement, which manifests itself in the form of protests, andolans, and strikes. Maligning an entire community, especially one that is responsible for food, is alarming, at the very least concerning. Hi! Thanks for watching Logically India. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We make fact-checking episodes every week. If there's anything you want us to fact-check, let us know in the comment section below. Or download the Logically app for quick fact-checking services. This is Team Logically, signing out.